sinners. How are ya? Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween to my lovely sinners and furry friends. Today I'm here with my furriest friend, Winter Pyre. <laughs> I have missed being on this channel very dearly. And to the person in the last video that said I look like I listened to AJR, I have thought about you every day this past year because that was correct. I take it as a compliment, but I know it wasn't meant to be. So since today is a special day, a day that only comes around once a year, that's how holidays work, we thought it would be fun to react to some POV TikToks together. And not just any POV TikToks, vampire and werewolf TikToks, which I don't know if you could tell, but we dress for the occasion today. There's a theme here. So I picked out some vampire TikToks for us to watch, and you picked out some werewolf TikToks for us to watch. Um, in a few words, how do you feel about the werewolf side of TikTok? Much like the siblings or dating video, Unfulfilled. Really? I was expecting much more. Since about 2013, the werewolves have lost their touch. Back on the book, book Twitter, BookTube, all those sides of the internet, people that like to read, the werewolf and Omegaverse categories are alive and well. But not on TikTok. Not on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, can I start us off with one video? Okay. Because I feel like there's one guy mm -hmm. that has not let me down. I'm ready for some ooks and spooks and ghouls and gays today. Wonderful. The caption is, your dyslexic werewolf boyfriend comes across a questionable sign. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, well, you want to know what I think? Me too. My mind speaks in an eldritch tongue. What do these <laughs> symbols mean? So that is a small pup on TikTok. Shout out to small pup on small TikTok. Small pup is really like carrying, and I don't mean this like, you know, facetiously or at all because I genuinely love his content. It's really cute that you're gonna defeat me with the power of friendship and all, but again, I am the devil from the Bible, so. <laughs> oh, sh That's the werewolf content we're looking for. <laughs> yes. So from what I found on Vampire TikTok, it's basically regular straight TikTok with conventionally attractive guys putting a little more blood on their face than normal. Cause I feel like vampires are more likely of the mythical creatures to be turned into a thirst trap. Mm. We'll start with this, this lovely gentleman right here. He's known for his vampire Let's POVs anyway. His eyes change color, so you know he's serious. The thing that I've noticed <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to paranormal romances, and this could be werewolves, vampires, or any of the monster romance category, like certain behaviors uh -huh. would be problematic. But when they're done by a supernatural entity, they're suddenly very sexy. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You're valid in that. <laughs> Would a good example be like when Jacob imprinted on Bella's baby? Yes! In the real world, a lot of people would be turning their heads, but in Twilight world, it's cute. It's meant to it's be acceptable. question mark. I don't like that, but apparently, you know, if, if a werewolf or a, um, a vampire in this case, decides that they're going to be in control, well, that just makes sense. Yeah. It's like, that's just part of their nature. Yeah. That's in their DNA. What did he say? Like, oh, you're mine? Must, oh, I'm in control? Must be nice to be an alpha. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Me neither. <Yeah. laughs> the eye color change was cool, though. We love a good special effect. A good 2019 era TikTok special effect change. Love to see. A much simpler time. Uh, Let's go back I to love, that. I really yearn for the days. But uh, it's funny that you have him, Anna, or unless you- if Oh, you, to, you have him too? I think I do. I have a feeling he's gonna be coming up a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> the 
That was the bit that caught my attention. That was good. <laughs> I'm noticing that, the theme with the eye color, though. Very important, very to, to distinguish yeah. between characters. Yeah. Um, you know, other people like Thomas Sanders, TBT, he mm-hmm. would change outfits to, ch- to show you the difference in his characters. But yeah. You know, simple, simple eye color change can really, really, can really it's bring like, it far. It's like, see, with the ears, I'm a furry. Mm-hmm. Without the ears, I'm still a furry, but for some reason, this is more socially acceptable. I definitely like his first Sona better than his vampire Sona, because at least that one's not a toxic boyfriend. He just calls you out when you smell like as he, as he should. <laughs> wipe your ass this Halloween. Me- the- Do you think werewolves wipe in their wolf form? This uh, werewolf no. does. <laughs> Do you think it's like a Charmin Ultra Bear commercial? <laughs> no, because they're canines, so they just let let that fly. Loose. Yeah, let loose. An animal is gonna be an animal. Yeah, yeah. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> POV. Your teacher knows your secret. Ooh, let's see what that secret is. Ooh, he just moved two feet. How crazy is that? Why is he just like a cheesecake factory waiter? We would know. My thought was in front of the class. Way to put her on the spot. But that's teacher-student romance, and that's a totally different ballpark. Than is a- this a romance, or is it just like, I know you're a vampire? What are the tags? Hashtag vampire, hashtag Avi Akbar. Okay, see, because a lot of the werewolf uh, subculture of TikTok, um, you will see a hashtag paranormal romance. Oh, yeah, this just seems like he's a nosy vampire. Future Maybe it's student. just because I'm gay and I can admit that that's an attractive man. I'm like, hmm, an attractive man moving a little bit too close to the camera. Suspicious. Is he benefiting from pretty privilege right now? Yes. Yes. There you go. You see, that's the other thing is I feel like, let me just cross my legs really quick. Mm-hmm, let's mansplain. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that a lot of vampires, especially the ones we're seeing on TikTok, do benefit from pretty privilege. Because if it was Nosferatu, Nosferatu, trying to do these same thirst traps, they would eat him alive. It would be reverse vampirism. It's not cringe if you're pretty. The reason I why, wish I had that jawline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Avi. Um, interesting TikTok. Incredible jawline. Incredible. Happy Halloween to you. Yeah. Not to get like deep here. This is supposed to be a silly, goofy video. Pretty people are allowed to be cringe. Most importantly, though pretty straight people are allowed to be cringe because the moment a queer person, even if they're conventionally attractive, does something cringy, suddenly it's only homophobia and transphobia in the comments. Go off, queen. You can't exist in peace as a queer person Mm -hmm. online. You have to be on your best behavior at all times. And you know what? Sometimes you just want to let loose and have fun and dress up like a werewolf and vampire with your best friend. Paul and Morgan would never look like this. (laughs) No tea, no shade to Paul and Morgan. We look like Paul and Morgan if they had fun. And weren't transphobic. This one, Anna, I don't want to read you the caption. I just want you to close your eyes. Is it like ASMR, like werewolf ASMR? Is it furry ASMR? Are you going to show me? No. Why not? But that's just... (laughs) (laughs) If you wouldn't mind, please close your eyes and I will play you this delightful audio. All right. my woods. <laughs> How cute. Oh, what's wrong? Everything. You seem a little bit nervous. I am. Is it my tail? Yeah. My ears? Yeah. My menacing glowing eyes? Yeah. Or the fact that I'm just merely... <laughs> Is he jacking I'm himself so off? That I can't even speak. Excuse me for a moment. Now he's climaxing. <laughs> he just put it in. <laughs> They're going for round two. I uh, hated that. To me, that, sound, that sounds like me when I come home from a double shift in the bathroom. Ooh. Thoughts. Emotions. Feelings. I think I dissociated. <laughs> Whoever. How did um, you imagine him? I picture him as like some 30 year old man sitting alone in his bedroom on a Saturday night, speaking this into his like blue Yeti microphone and is going like, yeah, the girls on TikTok are gonna love this. And they did, because a few of them were like, I am saving. <laughs> Why do I feel like it's mostly women over 40? 
Not to be ageist, like get get it, I guess, but at what cost? It couldn't be me. That's all I can say. <laughs> no, some things um just leave to the privacy of your own bedroom. I know that's something like homophobes say a lot when it comes to like gay people and just like looking at each other in public, but not everyone needs to know. This is why like I, I see how it can work for some people, but it's why I never want my book turned into an audio book. <laughs> <laughs> when it's done too seriously mm -hmm. and it's like obviously to the public and it's very obviously not to one specific person mm -hmm. you're just letting us all know that you're trying to make everyone cream uh, nobody was creaming nobody's coming no. <laughs> maybe actually now that i think about it the next time i audition for a play that's gonna be my monologue your vampire bia feeds on you for the first time okay That B negative blood got me twisted, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like twisted tea, but like twisted B. I like how he's like eating someone out off camera and then gets slapped. Yeah, it's well, like she's got like another girl that's like on her shoulder with her legs spread. <laughs> it's like kind of a threesome, but not really. I'm noticing a theme What's with these uh, paranormal boyfriends getting slapped. Yes. Um, Maybe you guys should do something about that. So this one has been going around on TikTok a lot. And I know like there's like other like duets and stuff to this, but this is like maybe I've only seen because I've gotten myself onto werewolf TikTok and fairy TikTok. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a scene in Alpha and Omega, like the movie, like the CGI movie about wolves from like 2007. I love a good bit of satire. And I think he really nailed it. Absolutely. That was good. Yeah. That was a nice like palate cleanser. <laughs> so this one is probably the highest quality of the TikToks I have for oh. us. So. Is there a budget for this TikTok? I think so. Yeah, this is like a Hollywood level. I mean, as far as TikTok goes. Let's see. Turn it off. POV, the guilt for my first victim was too much, so I had to turn it off, is the context. What's it in this case? I guess the vampireness. Is, dun, he, turning, dun, dun. is he turning sympathy off, and is that how he's oh. becoming an abuser? Any other relationships? I think we could. I code. think so. Oh, so. He's trying to disconnect so he doesn't feel guilty about ruining people's lives. But then someone, a poor human who has not experienced a proper relationship is going to fall susceptible to that. Wow. I didn't realize there was a deeper meaning to all these vampire TikToks. We've unlocked the lore. I see the budget. Um, like the teeth thing, that was f cool. It was. I think Danny Gonzalez reacted to him in a video. But I can't get over that, the placement of the blood. What's wrong with the blood? What do you have against the blood? No, no, no. It just looks like it's everywhere on his mouth. Yeah. Which leads me to believe that it wasn't just from his teeth and maybe... Shark Week? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I would imagine like drinking someone's blood gets a little messy. I mean, his blood certainly looks a lot better than this. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> because yours doesn't make me think of that. Maybe I just shouldn't be thinking of that to begin with. Do you have another POV for us? I do. Well, I don't know if this one's necessarily a POV, but this it, it definitely caught my interest. It combines two of my favorite things. Werewolves. And men. <laughs> no, uh, werewolves, men. Okay, three things. Werewolves, men, <laughs> and The Sims 4. Oh, this is very niche. Did you make this one? I, I very well could have, mm -hmm. but I can't take credit. Joke in. Did you fart? <laughs> That's like a role reversal of the, the, the yeah, ASMR TikTok. The Noah dude. Oh my God. <laughs> No, I was thinking of the Noah guy yes. who was like, yes, did, you sh <laughs> did you sh did you yourself? <laughs> yes, that's the other end. I really enjoy that. Good. Why are the werewolf TikToks so like fun to watch and vampires like POV, I'm in control of that's, you, so you let me hit you or That's something? what I will say is I feel like werewolf TikTok takes itself a lot less seriously. Yeah, vampire TikTok is like dark. Oh. It has like very like violent undertones. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Bestie. Oh, sorry, It's going to be a furry. Mm-hmm. Not a great day for vampires. So this one is POV. Vampire boy was ready to move on to the next step. Winky face. What's the next step? I guess we'll see. Andrew, kiss me, kiss me. I 
I can just sense the spit from the plastic fangs coming through the screen. <laughs> Why? Wait, this is a different guy than the other one, right? They're all different guys, but they look like the same guy. They're but the like same they're guy literally all thoughts. doing the same like movements, and then like the like the. Hold on. <laughs> you look like you're just eating p off camera. Sorry. I'm sure that's like what they're trying to get across, but also I have a feeling that most of their audience is not over the age of 18. Oh no. They're catering to high school girls. Having a twilight face is not cringe, but the motions that you're making, brother, I'm sorry, yeah. but it is. And how is she already moaning just from two seconds of kissing? Yeah. How? Well, it's not kissing, it's the neck thing, but it's like... Oh. But like, how? how is she already moaning? <laughs> Don't give the goods up to a vampire mm -mm. who calls himself your boy Andrew. <laughs> This was from 2022. 2020 also. This was during election season. <laughs> yes, and also COVID pandemic season. So when <laughs> So when people were posting like everybody go to the polls, everybody vote. When people he were was posting this at each other's throats about Biden and Trump, your boy Andrew was making vampire thirst traps. Priorities. <laughs> Technically, it is election season, and here we are filming this. Oh, true. <laughs> so we're really not ones to talk. No, we're not. Whatever we say about the, any of these TikToks, take it with a grain of salt. Yes, we please. are the biggest of hypocrites. Oh, yeah. Listen, we are calling out cringe, but we are just as cringy as the people we're talking about. Elections come and go. TikTok clout is forever. Vampires and werewolves are also forever. This is true. It's my turn, isn't it? Yes, okay. it is. You're taking a bath in a lake, and when you surface from rin rinsing your hair, Ooh. I get oh, wait. <laughs> and the most attractive man you've ever seen is standing at the shoreline. Oh? When he sees you, he smiles and says, I thought I smelled humans. Ew. That's not a normal statement, you say, and he smiles, but you're not mortal, are you? He oh. asks. You know you should be afraid of this man, and yet you say, show me yours and I'll show you mine. Show what? Their buttholes? <laughs> the souls meet where the holes meet. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out if you like holes. <laughs> Stop. Ooh. So what'd you think about that? Would you read that book? No. <laughs> <laughs> I applaud the creativity. It's not my taste. It's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of blood. There's like something it. out there for everyone. Exactly. So while while on Werewolf TikTok, I found this song coming up a lot. But uh, this was like a mini music video esque. Of this. Oh, they got a budget. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> okay, graphic design. I felt the emotion with that one. I felt something. Can you describe it? They 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 put their heart into that, I will say. Yeah. They put their whole <laughs> wolf into they put that. The, they put their hole into it. That's really cool. Now now, Anna. <laughs> yeah, that certainly was meant to evoke some emotion. I could tell they really put their heart and soul into that. And I respect it. You if know, I could get a TikTok tattooed on me, it would be that. Really? Yeah. If I had to get any TikTok tattooed on me. It would be this next one, actually. Next one, okay. <laughs> Is it because you're Italian and that looks like tomato sauce? <laughs> no, this part really got to me. The fingers. Huh? So basically, the new vampire in town kills everyone who visits his house. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I understand what it's like to be on a low budget, but my guy, that's tomato sauce, and whatever that is on your mask... Barbecue sauce? Makes me sick. <laughs> no, it looks like you just did surgery, but it wasn't blood. It was like vomit and stuff that came back out at you. <laughs> like, even my blood looks more realistic. I have one final video for us Let's as see. a treat, as a special treat. Your BF that's a vampire has finally decided to turn you as well. It wasn't as simple as you thought. Oh. Josh. Stop. He really went all in. Is Josh a sexy name now? Josh! Josh is, not, Josh is not on the top of my list. I just think of Drake and Josh. <laughs> do, do an example of saying Josh. Okay, you f better not take this out of context. <laughs> Josh! Now hug me, brother! Oh, my f just caved in. 
somehow. So with that, um, I think we're done for today. <laughs> I had fun. I had so much fun. I had fun, too. I've been wanting to come back for a while. It took putting on a pair of ears and some pause Mm -hmm. to really pause our schedule and come make this video together. I'm glad that we got to sink our teeth into some vampire and werewolf POVs. And if there's more werewolf and vampire POVs that we have not found, or you guys think you'd be fine better content, please send them to us, because yes. even if we don't make a part two to this, I'd still love to watch them regardless. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for spending Halloween with us, even if it was just a few minutes out of your day. We hope you guys have a very happy and safe Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a very, very very tiny thumbs up and pause and subscribe down below we love you guys and we'll see you very soon with a brand new video bye, bye.